hey, please be sure to subscribe. So here at the Phase House, we have the fucking worst neighbors in the world. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse my language. The most retarded fucking stupid fucking idiot neighbors in the world. Now you guys probably wonder yourselves, like, what could those neighbors do that's so bad? Like, what do they do? Do they, do they just, you know, tell you guys to keep it down? Oh, double nine. We, we're great neighbors, okay? We're fucking great. We don't ever bother nobody. We don't even get crazy or anything. And our neighbors are just fucking douchebags. Not even to us. It's not even that's the problem, but they have this cat that they just leave at their front door all the time. Like, they don't let the cat inside the house during storms during rainstorms during winter storms during everything they leave that cat outside their door the entire time the cat is always fucking cold it's fucking hungry it's just banks brought it food banks is a fucking great dude he got it a blanket he got it heated pads he got it food and then the owners threw that shit out banks went out of his way to fucking help this fucking poor cat i, I actually can't believe how much of douchebags the fucking neighbors are like they left it out during a fucking snowstorm they just leave it out they put food out for it sometimes in the fucking grossest little bowl ever and you guys know me i'm a fucking huge animal lover i cannot stand that shit so we called like one of those like PETA things like you know the shelter things and you know fucking take the fucking cat away but apparently they like need proof and stuff and i mean that makes sense but just Fuck, I feel so bad for that cat. It's like, how do you get a fucking animal and then not even take care of it at all? Like, it doesn't even have a place to stay. So I really hope, like, the animal control people do shit about them, take that cat and fucking put it in a good home. We've tried going up to the cat, but it, it gets scared and it runs away. And also, we have to be like, well, maybe it's a street cat or something. It's not, I don't know, it seems like a fucking fluffy ass cat. It's adorable. And even then, it, it doesn't matter because the cat's, like, outside in, like, a blizzard. It's out during snow. It's just, it's always in the cold. I wake up in the morning, gotta go to the gym, gotta go to the change room. And I see a bunch of dicks everywhere. I literally, not dicks, not like, you know, assholes. I'm talking fucking penises, like genitalia. I'm talking, you know, dicks. Like, I'm talking the bubble gum inside your pants. And I don't find it weird. Some people are, like, really weirded out by that stuff. They like, whoa, 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 dude. Why the fuck is your dick out? And that's not weird to me. What's weird to me is how one, this, this I'm going to reenact. Let me get the last first. Okay, so there will be, like, three, there's, like, a bench and a bunch of lockers around it. And there'll, there, I don't know, there'll be like a dude standing like this, with this fucking this dick out talking to his bros. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Two guys sitting there clothing, you're just sitting there like, yeah, you know, the weather is pretty fucking great today, dude. Just fucking waving your dick. Like, what the fuck are you doing? How the fuck do you just sit there having conversation with your fucking dick out? I get it, dude. You're changing, you're coming out of the sauna, and whatever, dude. You're coming out of swimming, you're showering in there, you're doing whatever. That's fine, dude. Let your fucking little willy hang, dude. That's fine. Don't fucking stand there and talk to your bros and fucking dick out fucking flailing all over the place. Damn it, dude. And it's just so casual, though. I'm sitting there like that. No, that is not casual. Now, to finally get off the topic of dicks, I tweeted out yesterday saying, you know, I want to make a World of War video. I've never, ever made one. That was a plan for today. And then I got on World of War and realized that it took an hour to get into a free-for-all lobby for a map pack that I did not have. So I literally wasted an hour of my time sitting at the main menu trying to get into a game. So I'm sorry, if you guys really want a World of War video, let me know. I'll, I'll try to play it, but I know you guys want to see free-for-all instead of like team deathmatch, so... I don't know, I was just trying, and I, I guess I wasn't good enough. I'm never good enough. Why are, you, why are you even making YouTube videos still, you fucking loser? Oh my god, Sensei, are you interrupting my video? Yeah, dude, I'm trying to have a moment with my viewers. But back to what I was saying, I'm a loser. I'll never be good at anything. And it, it sucks because some people actually are really, really hard and down on themselves. You guys should never feel that way because, guys, it's like Albert Einstein said. You will amount to nothing, you piece of shit! Nigga, Albert's been kind of like rowdy lately, my bad, guys. Jordan! Albert? Shut the fuck up. Okay. You guys ever like just text your mom and say, Mom, like, why the fuck? fuck do I have so much fucking swag? Like, were you wearing Jordans when I came out the womb, or what, what's going on, Ma? Speaking of mothers, my mom actually watched my phone sex prank video, and she she said she thought it was a very funny video, and I was like, damn, Mom, you sick fuck. I thought she was gonna be like, don't have her upload that shit to YouTube, but I guess my mom's cooler than I fucking thought she was. So, Mom, if you're watching this video, which you most likely are, I have a message for you. I love you, and you're the best. You know that, Mom? Oh, God. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh! No way! Dude, no way it is fucking hit that! Dude, no fucking way it is fucking hit that! Dude, this isn't even fake, dude. I'm not even fucking lying, dude. I actually just fucking hit that. Dude, how the fuck did I know? I fucking shock charged this kid and fucking. And I fucked up and I, just, I knew it, dude. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I had to say it's not bigger than yesterday's video. Oh my god. Yo! Dude, holy fuck, that was dope! 1080, I mean, it was just a double pistol, well, switch pistol, switch back. That was fucking dope, man! Please leave a like for that shot, that was fucking dope. I'm actually so happy I just hit that. But it's been Bruno in chat, I want you guys to keep it real. Peace out, everybody! Here's your chat! Alright, we going old school hip-hop. This song is gonna bring back so many memories, all you big hip-hop heads out there. Here we go. Uh, uh, 
All oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town.